Living Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. So it looks like uh, there's a decision that needs to be made. Somebody's trying to make up their mind, but they're moving real slow. Somebody's moving very slow. Nine of Pentacles energy. Somebody here definitely knows they are in regret. Somebody feels really awful about what they did or what they said or how they treated you. Like, that is the energy that I'm, like, this person knows there's a wrong, all right? They could even be getting karma right now for this. All right. Yeah, third party interference. So, there was some interference here between you and, and this person. And I wanted to say third party. Maybe there is some, not for, that's not for everybody, all right? But... This person, for some of y'all, regrets allowing other people to get in the way, allowing what other people had to say to get in the way. This person allowed, maybe even for some of y'all, um, another man or another woman to, to intrude on the relationship. For some of y'all, that's a lo another lover, an extra person, um, a sneaky link or something like that. Or it could be somebody's mother or somebody's you know, grandmother, aunt, whoever, or like even friend, you be, believe me, believe it or not, friends like totally get in the way if somebody's not mature. It just gets in the way. You know, let's see here. Tell me more about this decision here. Why is decision here? Tell me more about this decision this person um, has to make or is making. All right, four swords. Somebody's not making a decision though. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is like really either really thinking this through, taking a break here. Um, show me more about this decision. Somebody's taking their time to make a choice. Could be you. Could be them. The Sun card. Somebody's making a decision. Somebody's doing something for their own happiness whatever decision this is you could be a leo your person could be a leo leo could be in somebody's turn here with it but whatever this decision is it's about somebody's happiness or somebody is like thinking about something um yeah somebody's thinking about peace and happiness honey and somebody could have said listen i just for the sake of my own peace and my own happiness i gotta take a step back i gotta take a break from this Show me more here. Why is why is the sun card here? Tell me more about this decision. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. This is Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, you guys. is literally about somebody wants something that's going to make them very happy. Someone wants something that is going to give it equal, have an equal give and take. It's mutual. Mutual. This is meaning like... I give, you give. I keep that same energy. I love you, you love me. What's this decision about? What's this decision about? Clarify the sun card. A queen of pentacles. Listen, who, whoever this queen of pentacles is, they know their worth towards Virgo Capricorn energy. They know their worth. Someone here could be a single mother or a single father or someone could have, have children here. But regardless, this person, male or female, they know their worth. They know they what they deserve, and so they would rather just like take a break. You could not be communicating with this person. It definitely looks like there's like little to no communication with this person. It's, this six of swords is back on the bottom of the deck, so it's like anything I gotta do for my peace and happiness, I'm going to do it because I know what I deserve. You're sitting in this abundant energy if you are the, identifying with the Queen of Pentacles here, like. You're a very kind, caring person, very like reliable and dependable. Show me more about this Queen of Pentacles. You're very abundant. I'm drawn to this bunny rabbit. Yeah, look at this. You're growing, expanding. You're really happy here. Three of Wands is about all about growth, expansion. So yeah. So you are there was one person who is in the energy of regret and they feel remorse for what they did or the lack of what they gave you. They were slow to give it to you. You know what you deserve and, and this person knows what you deserve too. But they decided to allow a third party or some form of external influence to 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 put to get in the way. Yeah, you're manifesting something here too. Gemini energy just almost wanted to pop out. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, you're growing. Yeah. All right. 
you could be a little stressed out in your head a little bit right now. Eight of Swords. Little anxiety. Show me more about this Eight of Swords. What's this anxiety about? There's nothing to be have anxiety over though here. Page of Swords. You want more information about something here? Hmm. Show me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Clarify Eight of Swords. Somebody could be watching you here. Somebody's watching you because you set boundaries. Somebody's in their head, so I don't think this is you in this Eight of Swords energy. Somebody else is in this Eight of Swords energy. Whoever it is, they're watching you and they're obsessed with you. There could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here, but I feel like this is you. You are in this Queen of Swords energy. Bottom of the deck, Three of Swords. You could be dealing with a Libra, or you, or you could be a Libra, or you could also be dealing with a Capricorn with the Devil energy here. But it's like you put up your boundary against this devil energy. You're like, no, 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 thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm setting my boundary here. This is not what I'm about to do. And totally, like, somebody's obsessively watching you. Show me more about this devil. You're blocking toxicity. I'm telling you, this person's thinking about the past. Six of Cups. I, memories obsessively thinking about memories in the past and what happened why is uh regret here show me more here about this regret okay here if I and re and this really wanted to come out in reverse um i feel like it should be a reverse honestly the regret is when someone didn't commit to you they didn't they didn't respect you they didn't give you the respect that you really deserved that you didn't realize who you were you know for some of you all, this person could regret that they're already in a commitment hit here. They could regret being non-committal. Show me more here about regret. Somebody's learning a spiritual lesson, Queen of Wands. So they could re there could have been a third party, like I said, for some of y'all, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Taurus energy. Show me more about this regret. This person could regret stepping out on you. Definitely makes sense with third party being here. Four of Pentacles. Stubborn. This is, I feel like this is like somebody not learning a lesson, being stubborn. You know what I'm saying? Holding on to old things or holding on to a Queen of Wands energy here. Show me more here about this Queen of Wands. Show me more about the Queen of Wands. Judgment. Yeah, they're really evaluating this and thinking about this. Somebody made a judgment call. So show me more of this Queen of Wands. Somebody is definitely reflecting and thinking. Scorpio and Virgo energy. Somebody is definitely reflecting and thinking about this situation with this Queen of Wands. Or this Queen of Wands could be the one in that energy. Or this Divine Masculine could be. Depending on where you feel you fit in this, right? Clarify this Hermit energy. Was this in reverse? Okay, I'm going to put this back because I can't tell. Clarify the Hermit energy. The Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Hermit energy. King of Cups. Somebody's thinking about an offer they wanted to give. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody wanted to bring a love offer here. Make a love offer. But this love offer could have been too small. Somebody is thinking about giving this love offer to a Queen of Wands. Or they did already. They're reevaluating that, right? Which makes sense again with the inter. Show me more about this interference and this third party. Ooh, ooh. Libra energy in reverse. The justice card just came out in reverse. The interference is <sighs> dishonest energy. Is 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 giving like you know untruthful for some of y'all. You know just dishonest. Give me more about this interference here. Yeah. Show me more on this interference. Somebody definitely wants to apologize for this little Knight of Pentacles they gave you. <laughs> or that they lied about an offer. Or they took an offer somewhere else. Give me more information on this Justice card, please. Why is it here? The Ace of Swords. There's the, the truth. 
the truth. The truth about what? So somebody wants to communicate something. I believe this person lied about, you know, obviously they did, but why is the Ace of Swords here? Justice in reverse. An Empress. Divine Feminine. What about this Empress? Three of Pentacles. They, they want to talk and work something out. They want to clear some shit up. That's why they're in this regret and they want to apologize. Show me more on this Empress. Two of Cups. Yeah, love you. They love you. Death card, but there's an ending. They want to transform this. They're trying to figure out a way, like... They're trying to figure out a way. Show me more here about this energy. Show me more on the Divine Masculine. Let's see what's going on with this Divine Masculine. Show me more with the Divine Masculine, please. Divine Masculine Energy Spirit Guides. This Divine Masculine is very triggered. This person is very, very triggered here. They're seeing all kinds of sorts of things reminding them. Their Spirit Guides are like reminding them so much. You know, they could be seeing like a car or a place or a name or something here. They could be hanging out with their friends and they're just like constantly reminded of you here. Their friends could be like talking about you or they could be talking to their friends about you. I feel like there's a lot. Yeah, see, release. They're talking about this release and this surrender and letting go of something and surrendering to something else. Show me more about this divine masculine more of the divine masculine please this divine masculine could have been the energy that, that is moving very very slow yeah wasting time no no changes limited stuck in belief and take take it slow but this person is drinking quite a bit and trying to numb their mental agony here so, like, whatever this Divine Masculine does to escape, they're doing quite a bit of it in excess right now. Yeah. All this person can think about, all this Divine Masculine can think about is how they choose you. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person had needed to change. Like, somebody feels like they're running out of time or, like... I feel like this person has really put themselves in this situation because you see how this person is like in this in this um, capsule here where the time for the um forget what the name of these things are called but there's a person all alone in time is like is like the sand represents time right and it's like they feel like they're running out of time and they are just feeling overwhelmed and they're running out of it anyway but this person chooses you they're they're very sorry they've been taking so long to realize it's always been you like i said they're definitely taking taking a minute right and this literally says that i'm sorry for taking so long to realize it's always been you i choose you can y'all see that divine masculine energy show me more on this divine masculine please We have, they want to reconcile, oh my goodness. Somebody here married for money, by the way, okay, or was with somebody else for money. They want to reconcile here. Hmm. Somebody could have gone back to a third party all because of like financial obligations and money. Show me more about this divine masculine. Ooh, and the deception and temptation card just fell on the floor. I'm not picking that up. And look what came out with it. Can't you can't trust them? You it, you know it's like this person if they went back to somebody else they're all hugged up right? But it, really they were hiding this reconciliation behind their back, which I feel like is them hiding how they want to be with somebody else. That that might not be for everybody. Okay, don't 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 go overboard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's the energy I'm getting for some of y'all. Yeah, I think this person did that to control the situation or control finances, but they're in their head and they're stressed and overanalyzing and thinking about like how they can gain control over a situation or how they can get you back, communicating with them. Look, romantic love affair, secret lover. What else? All right. 
the, yeah, over, I mean, this person think it's so dang on much, you guys. This is crazy. This person's driving themselves crazy by being in this obsessive behavior, which makes total sense. Because y'all remember this devil energy, this eight of swords, and, and this page of swords. They're obsessively thinking, watching you. Show me more of this divine masculine energy. Yeah, this person is wants one more chance with you. Um, you know, some of you guys have put yourself in, uh, you're almost spending a lot of time alone, solitude here. I think this person spending a lot of time alone or like away or when, whatever they're, when this person does, whatever they do to escape, all they do is think about you other than the fact that they probably can't sleep based on what I'm seeing. For some of y'all, this person may have like tattoos. Or like a sleeve or something here that could be like in really good shape. Um, show me more here. This person is drowning in their emotions about this divine masculine. Oh, okay. What was that? Yeah, this person is so confused. Like one minute is one, one minute they want it, and then like the next minute they're like running from this. Like. You see this confused this person could be going back and forth they this person could between you and somebody else i don't know for some of y'all this person could feel trapped by like i said finances kids or pregnancy or something like that somebody could have gone back to a karmic because somebody said that they were pregnant that's not for everybody okay it's like a karmic knew if they ran back if they told them they were pregnant this person would come back to them. Um, that one's not for everybody. That's very specific. Show me what else here for the divine masculine. Boy, this person wants to change for you. They've been checking themselves. We had unchanged come out in reverse and upright was check yourself. I feel like you guys, the divine masculine is really thinking about this, thinking this through and they know they need to change. Yeah, look at this fed up. Fed up. Mm. What else for this divine masculine? If something's going on with somebody is like watching, stalking, investigating something, looking something up, trying to get information about you again. Somebody here is money hungry here. I, I don't know who that other energy is. I'm not even going to get looked. Watching shit go down, enjoying the gossip. So, this is another energy. There's something else going on somewhere else with, with a third party. Somebody married or is with somebody over money, like I flipping said. And somebody is probably fed up hmm, with this karmic. Show me more of the divine masculine energy here. But it's like they're having a hard time moving on, though. Let me pick that up. Hold on. Look, somebody's getting played and being manip manipulated and lying, like I said, literally like a puppet. So like I said, for some of y'all, this person could move on, moving came out in reverse, or they feel stuck. What else for the Divine Masculine? Anger management. Somebody's pissed. Something's about to go down. Yeah, somebody definitely played a lot of games. And somebody, there's a, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody is sick of somebody is living a double life, playing games here. We got playing games, fed up. We got anger management. Then we got double life. And then on the top of the deck, it's standing your ground, ready for battle, defending yourself. So this divine masculine could be defending themselves right now. They could be feeling the need to defend themselves. Somebody could, you know, we're talking about a divine masculine, that's who it is. <sighs> There's something here about a family situation or something going on at home. So somebody could be going through, show me more of this, you yeah. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out some things, okay? They are, re yeah, somebody's trying to figure out, I see new love. And that, but that came out in reverse. This person is hoping that you haven't moved on and found new love. 
they're trying to brainstorm and think about whatever they can do to just figure this problem out like whatever they can do that's that page of swords energy too show me more here yeah see i hate nothing about you they really do want to come towards you i feel like they're getting sick of a karma show me more of this divine masculine energy divorce came out in reverse though so for some of y'all, this person could have said they were going to get a divorce. Yeah, somebody here is arguing with somebody here and threatening a divorce. Somebody here. So this is giving me the energy of like divine masculine is putting their foot down. And they're sick of somebody. This karmic shit. <laughs> sick of the karmic shit. Look at that. Divorce. But see, this came out in reverse. So either somebody's talked about it or threatened it. Show me water for the Divine Masculine energy. Divine Masculine. Oh, somebody's coming out of denial. That's nice. This Divine Masculine is coming out of denial. Okay, they are. So they're seeing things. They're seeing this karmic for what is worth here. Um, somebody could have found some form of like receipts or information or messages or something that were sexual related here. Um, on, on the computer or on somebody's phone or like on somebody's social media or some, something like that, okay? Which I feel like is that karmic. Because remember, you're the divine feminine is minding their own business and focused on them. And, and um, they know their worth. They know what's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, show me more of the divine masculine energy, please. Yeah, this person is looking you up, you guys. The Divine Masculine is, like, getting information on you or something. I can't stand when my obsession to overthink becomes an issue. Re remember we talked about that? Yeah. All right, let's see what this person wants to say to you. Whoa. They feel like you are, like... This says boss bitch runs your own business. You're stable. You're busy and you're multifaceted. You're like in this empress energy. You're not you. Like I said, you take action. You have the courage to do what's best for you. You're in this empress energy beginnings. Okay, like you you you're you moving on. Focus on you. Like like I said, like I said. What does this person want to say to the divine feminine, please? Um, hit the like button for me you guys and I just did um, Cancer Pisces readings today so go check those out the timestamp too so like if you only want to see love um, the timestamp for love is in there if you only want your oracle messages the oracle message timestamp is there um, and if you like want career I did I added career to your readings too so just go check those out yeah, somebody's playing games. This person might come back. For some of y'all, this divine masculine might come back and say, like, um, I'm getting a divorce. They're not getting a divorce. So I'm leading you on. Or they could have led you on in the past. Ex-lover. All right. I'm afraid that I don't have enough to offer you. Yeah, that's true. We saw money problems here. You know your worth. Your money's getting good. You're fine. You're a boss. You're a boss. Male or female, you are a boss. All right. I will never be happy until you return to me. I don't see y'all returning. Tell me what I can do to fix this. All right. The person wants to know what they can do to fix the situation. I don't know. I'm so disgusted with how I treated you. Yeah, I, I, I think I said that at the beginning of the reading for sure, for sure. Um, man, this person, if this, this for some of y'all, this person's acting like they're not spying on you or they don't care or you haven't heard from them or whatever. Like, there's a lot of spying and creeping and lurking energy and looking you up energy investigating and watching you trying to get more information this could be the you know stupid ass karmic too um uh -oh, what's this? i don't love them anymore i mean they are getting fed up with this karmic by the way okay a lot of divine masculines are you know coming into 
time and awakening. But I don't know if this person is fully awakened yet at this point. Because there still seems to be some deception here. It could be past energy, but what else here? This person says, please forgive me. Using my magic on you. Mm. Okay. You are spiritually guided and protected, divine feminine. Look at this. Obsessed and infatuated. I mean, you, you, you got a whole audience, huh? I mean, it makes sense to be Queen of Pentacles energy. Hello. Like, that's you. If they want to watch, they can watch. Male or female. It says no one compares to you. <laughs> oh, my God. So, you know, it, I'm going to just say this because it's clear to me you're, if you resonate with the divine feminine that you are on your shit, okay? Or you resonate with this queen of pentacles energy. You know you're worth, you're, you're doing your thing. You have more than one thing going on for yourself. You're focused on, you you know, you have more than one stream of income here. Or you have multi multiple talents. Or you, you, you bring a lot to the table, regardless of whatever that is. But it's just like, the fact that this person just literally just wants to be over here with this karmic and all this other drama that I'm seeing is just like, that really shows you, it truly shows you like the healing that people really need to do. Because like, otherwise, why would you be over there in that? What, what, why, why would you, I don't know why this, okay, I just don't know why you would, anyway. Y'all let me know in the comments, because... Yeah, this ain't making sense to me. It says, I want to worship you from head to toe. Like I said, this person literally, they think you are beautiful, but they, so, so the point is somebody stuck with somebody because of some financial obligations or somebody married somebody for money, male or female, flipping and switching and reverse it, okay? Yeah. In my Missy Elliott voice. How does the divine feminine feel about this situation? How does the divine feminine feel here about this situation? How does the divine you feel like divine feminine? How does divine feminine feel about the situation? You guys are focused on your career and your passions and your money, things that make you happy, things that make you excited, but you're still heartbroken. You're still heartbroken. See, this is you being focused on your pentacles. This is being you, you know, working on whatever craft that you have that makes you happy, right? You feel like you, I do feel like you've turned your back to whatever player energy or somebody was playing games with you, hot and cold, in and out. You turned your back to it and now you're like, okay, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to focus on the things that bring me value and worth in my life, right? And then, am I heartbroken? Yeah, I'm, I am heartbroken. How does the divine feminine feel? How does the divine feminine feel? Yeah, you're like skeptical. You're hurt, you know? You're guarded here. How does the divine feminine feel? So this person comes back to you, you're not going to be easily trusted at all. Yeah, but see, yeah, you're not, you learned a very valuable spiritual lesson here with the Hierophant and the Judgment card. You learned a very valuable lesson from this heartbreak. You, 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 know, you know now what you need to be doing moving forward. Like, you've learned what was necessary to learn from this. Nine of Pentacles. Again, more energy of you taking care of yourself pouring into you having the freedom and but being fine with being single you know what i'm saying being fine with being single you're cool you're like okay no problem saving your money you know what i'm saying you realize this is what you need to do um how does the divine feminine feel about the situation scorpio taurus libra energy here Look at this, Queen of Cups. Some of y'all are water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're a very sweet, kind, and empathic person. Very loving person. 
you're not gonna change that yeah you're not gonna change who you are divine feminine is not changing who they are they are gonna grow and learn from this situation like i said work on themselves they've learned the spiritual lesson they understand now they understand you understand if you're divine feminine okay yeah how does the divine feminine feel here some of y'all might be having trouble sleeping you might be having a little anxiety about the future, but guess what? You're moving on. Like, you are moving on. Six of Swords. You, you are moving on to Karma Mars, okay? Ooh, you're moving on to your soulmate. <laughs> Let's see, this came out first. Y'all saw that. you moving on to your Divine ma oh, Wait, it came out like this. you moving on to your Divine Masculine, honey. Okay, male or female, you're moving, you're moving, hello, this is someone who matches your energy, honey, they want the same thing that you want, sorry, can y'all see, they want the same thing you want, <sighs> ten of cups on the bottom of the deck, child, listen, this king of cups wants the same thing that you want, they want love, they want emotional fulfillment, they want a family, they want a house, the kids, the dog. I want it all. Okay. Show me more here about this King of Cups. Yeah. Show me more about this King of Cups, please. I'm sorry to read as long as hell. This could be a Gemini here. This a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, very strong soulmate energy here. All right. Show me more here about this King of Cups. Show me more. Hit the like button for me before you go, you guys. Look at this. This King of Cups sees you as this Queen of Pentacles, like which is how you showed up. You know you're the Queen of Pentacles. You are, and this person sees you as the Queen of Pentacles. They know your value and your worth. They're going to recognize the hard work. Look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Nine of Pentacles. They see you as marriage material is what this is. I feel like this two person is like... When they meet you, it's like, damn, do I want to stay single, or do I want to, why do I want to wipe this up, or do I, do I want this to be my husband? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is so, like, this, this, this person is everything. Show me more about this King of Cups energy. The Ten of Cups came back out. <laughs> Can y'all see that the Ten of Cups came back out? Look, look, this King of Cups wants this Ten of Cups with you. They want this ten of cups with you. They're trying to make a house. They said you could make a house a home, divine feminine. Show me more about this king of cups. I like this lady. Ooh, they want a baby too. <laughs> this is a new passionate beginning. Like, I'm, I'm, can I say something? Come here. Divine feminine. This person want to put a baby in you. You might unexpectedly get pregnant. If you don't want to, that's what—that's your business, okay? I'm just telling you what I see here. All right. They see this as a very passionate, steamy. Show me more information about this King of Cups. King of Cups. Ooh, ooh, King of Cups, please. King of Cups. Okay, something about this person regretting being single. Hmm. Something about this person regretting being single. This person could be like, how is Divine Feminine single? I can't. Let me get more information. Show me more here about this King of Cups. Oh, what's that? Damn. Going from the nine of ten of pentacles to the ten of pentacles, I think that's the energy here. This person, like I said, they want the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles with you. This person is turning their back on either being single or they can't believe that you're not already wifed up or how you, you're not already married or already husband or somebody's husband or something like that. All right. The, the, not, the person in the nine of Pentacles is looking at this Ten of Pentacles like, I'm happy over here being single. I know what I bring to the table, but like, I really want this Ten of Pentacles with somebody. They're thinking about this. This person's gonna. Alright. What else do we need to know about this King of Cups? 
What else do we need to know about this King of Cups? This was a good reading, y'all. What else do we need to know about this King of Cups? Ooh, that he's a wish fulfillment, boo. <laughs> Larry, I love when spirit just come through it's, and tell you all the tea, all the drama, with all these karmics and your person who hasn't learned their lesson and then spirit's like, you know what, it was rough, but you made it through, okay? You made it through, because here's your wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Shit. You said let them karmics stay over there where they at. I mean, if I was you, you can do whatever you want, girl. The sun card that came out again. You could be a Leo. Your person could be a Leo. Look. True happiness. True fulfillment. And you see that baby on that horse. I keep telling y'all if you don't want a kid, man. This is like, you know, somebody's walking away from something here. After you guys walk away from this, this heartbreak or this past person who's over here dealing with a, a karmic. Walking away from little people playing games, only offering you page of pinnacle energy in this five of swords energy, being manipulative, like, oh, divine feminine, take this little bit of coin or whatever. And they were slow about it, too. Like, hell no. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, I feel like y'all been in y'all head about this quite a bit. Y'all have been marrying each other, too, quite a bit, because I see this, I see this uh, queen of swords here. Oh, wait. Then I see this eight of swords here. And then the four of pentacles, which is about not letting go, right? And then guess who's there? This king of swords. So y'all probably been marrying each other. But anyway, you're manifesting this new person. 